everybody. Welcome back to our Saturday. I am getting ready to use the crock pot, but I'm gonna use a crock pot liner because I know that our crock pot has had gluten in it and I am trying to not, mm, actually, I don't need to use this. <laughs> anyway, I was gonna say, I don't wanna use it and Layla not be able to eat it because there was gluten in it at one point, but she's not gonna be able to eat this anyway. Even though I'm making pork, I'm putting some orange stuff in it. So she cannot have oranges or any citrus at all. Um, she actually tested okay with other citruses, just not oranges. But after that, she had had lemonade and we now don't give her any citrus because that lemonade was not a good idea. So, even though she tested fine with lemons. How weird is that? I don't know, I can't explain it. Anyway, um, I'm gonna make pork with this sweet orange marmalade, a jar of mandarin oranges that I canned up, and some barbecue sauce. But for little Miss Layla, we have some turkey for her. She loves turkey. Thank goodness. So this is a pork loin. I'm gonna go wash my hands and be right back. So I have quite a bit of things to do today and I'm gonna take y'all along for the ride. I'm gonna season this with the blend on both sides real quick. Salt, pepper, garlic. I'm gonna have to get on Sam's Club and order some more crock pot liners because I wanna be able to use that in the crock pot when I'm making something for, you know, that Layla can have. instead of having to buy a new crock pot. Today, I have to make some potato salad. I have to make some um, deviled eggs. We have a baptism and cookout and things tomorrow for church. And that is what I am bringing, potato salad and deviled eggs. And then also, I would like to make some homemade granola bars, a regular batch, and then a batch for Miss Layla. And I wanna make some yogurt popsicles today. So, we'll see what I actually get around to doing, but that's what I would really like to do. I do have to get done my potato salad and deviled eggs though, because I won't have time to do that tomorrow. Because we'll be getting up and getting ready for church and then we're going straight from church over to my father-in-law's for the baptism and um, cookout and all of that. And I have this one open in the fridge, so we're just going to use this one. Okay, I'm just going to cook this in low for about eight hours. All right, getting our eggs going. So I made eggs. I'm using some of the eggs for the potato salad, but also the rest of them are for deviled eggs for tomorrow. But what starts with an F? Frog. What do you have? A U? A 
a umbrella. Umbrella. Notice your letter for the week. Buck, buck, what? Ball. Ball. Do you see a ball? Okay, we'll do ball for that for ball. Okay, so I got our deviled eggs done. I'm gonna start working on this stuff for the potato salad. Miss Layla wants to help mix, but the potatoes are still really hot. So I'm just gonna get like the mayonnaise, mustard, the eggs, all that together. That way when the potatoes cool, we can just kind of add them and mix them in. Yeah. Can I mix it? Yeah, just a second. I need the spoon and then you can mix it. I don't know how much I'm gonna need, but I feel like I'm gonna need a lot because I did a lot of potatoes. All right, that's gonna be it for now. I can always add more. Here, look. Oh, you need that too. Yeah. Here, go ahead and mix. I open on you. Oh, I see one. All right, then we're gonna add some smoked paprika. Salt and pepper. It's okay. Anyway, let's gonna mix it all up and then later we'll add our potato. I might have to get another one of these and make it into two. I don't think all those are gonna fit in here, but we'll see. But these are done and ready. And I think we're gonna end up running over there at some point today so we can take the food over to my father-in-law's versus having to take it to church and then go in there. So we possibly might, we don't have to, but it would just be easier on us. Okay, here is my lunch today, salad and egg rolls. So. Saturdays are kind of like my day off from cooking. Breakfast is whatever, lunch is whatever you find kind of thing. So the kids had oatmeal and cereal for breakfast. Um, no one has eaten lunch yet because it's only 11.30, but I didn't eat breakfast, so I'm hungry. And I have another air, uh, egg roll in the air fryer for Gary. I went outside and asked him if he wanted one and he said, yeah. So he only wants one, I want two, I'm starved. So this is my lunch today. Miss Layla's over here painting while I eat. You want this one now? Mm -hmm. So hello and welcome back. I just came over here for the first time in a while and I can smell the roast and it smells really, really good. So we have, I, I have a lot of stuff I need to do around the house. There's 400 pairs of shoes right here by the door. Not really, but that's what it feels like. There's canners and clothes that need to go downstairs. There's bags of clothes I need to look through because yesterday, if you watched, we brought up new clothes for the girls that were not new, but like new clothes to them, hand-me-downs that we have had downstairs. Um, and so Everly wanted to put hers in there, but then she was taking away some. I need to go through Layla's and do the same. We just went downstairs and grabbed some for Wilder. Um, they're gonna be a little bit big, but he'll grow into them. So I need to go through Wilder's clothes and get rid of some and donate Layla's to donate because we don't need them anymore after them. It's so sad. I was going through the clothes yesterday and I was telling Gary, I was pulling them out. Some of the girl clothes, all of my girls have worn. So Haley's worn, then Ashlyn, then Everly, and now Layla for the last time. It's sad. It's a very it, it's bittersweet. It is so bittersweet. I can't say it's completely sad. It is, but it's also not. Um, obviously, not all the clothes that Haley had has made it here because that's a lot of time and a lot of clothes and my girls can wear through some clothes. A lot of the stuff that Everly will like stop with Everly because Everly is rough on clothes. She's just, you know, outside playing and the clothes don't last that long in through all of that. But there are certain pieces that like Ever Layla's wearing a little dress that was downstairs yesterday that all of them have worn and it's just so sweet. Um, but I need to get all that taken care of. I need to get all these cans washed and then everything taken downstairs. 
Lots of little things like that, but all needs to, you know, get done at some point today. So, oh my goodness, are you sleepy? Um, you got anything you want to add that's going to happen today? No. He's been cutting grass, so... We're just trying to take care of things today because we'll be gone all day tomorrow. So, and then it's back to work for him and then back to school and stuff for us all week. So today is the day to get as much thing, as many things as we can done around the house and get it taken care of. Cause after, after today, it's like busy, busy, busy. I have so many things I need to be doing inside and I don't feel like doing any of them like at all. I did just go through Wilder's clothes. I got some stuff out um, and I realized I needed to order him some new underwear mm. um but that's it that's all he needs is new underwear so um I still have to go through Layla's stuff I just haven't done it yet it took me forever just to sit with Wilder and go through what he wanted to keep and what he didn't and then ordering him some stuff and then um yeah I still need to go in and clean the kitchen I still have all those jars to do and look at the turkeys they're huge but now I'm just coming down here to talk to Gary. So avoiding everything I need to be doing. Okay, so I handed out some chores. I got all of these washed. I still have these to go, but they still have to sit a little bit longer because you're supposed to let them sit for 24 hours. So I did those more in the afternoon. So those need to wait some more. Um, I mean, I might've finished them by now, but I'm not exactly sure. So I'm gonna let those wait. I'll wash those later. But everything else is done. And when all this dries, I'm gonna add it to this stack right here and get all of this taken downstairs. Um, the kiddos are working on some chores. The next thing I'm gonna do is come over here and go through these clothes that Everly got rid of, see what I wanna keep for Layla and see if there's anything that I'd like to pass on to other people and then start working on that kind of stuff. Okay, I started to get school stuff together, but I think I am gonna move Wilder up to level one because he is bored to death going over stuff that he already knows. So I'm printing some stuff because I do have level one for him, but we tried it a little while ago. So I don't have lessons one through I think 12 we did in both language arts and math. So I've got that printing. I've got Everly's handwriting printing, but we are running out the door to go to his dad's to drop off stuff and help him get upset, help him get upset, help him get set up for tomorrow. So we've been home for a bit, but we've been kind of just like hanging out. Like we sat outside and watched the kids um, ride their bikes for a while. So bikes, dirt bikes, four wheeler, you know, all that fun stuff. So anyway, now I need to, and I just finished, um, I just washed up the rest of those cans. So now all the jars that I did are washed, ready to be taken downstairs. So now I have a whole stack of them ready to go. It's really nice. Um, but now I need to, oh, I also put potatoes in the Instant Pot, peeled them, washed them, put them in the Instant Pot. We're gonna have mashed potatoes with this. I asked Gary what he wanted and he just wants corn. So mashed potatoes, corn, and ro pork roast. Very simple dinner. So I have all of these. That one is stacked three high, that one too, these two on the ground. And then these ones I just finished washing, so. There, the tops are still wet, but they'll be able to go into, this is just the chicken mushroom um, soup, like celery, carrots, onion, chicken mushroom, and chicken broth. So just a chicken soup base. You can add rice, you can add noodles, you can eat it as is, whatever, but all done. Oh, also, do you remember years ago, I canned, I had so many onions. I canned up like French onions and I used to throw them in roasts all the time. I have none left. I don't know what made me think of them today. I haven't thought about those in forever. But if we do go to Sam's Club, I mean Costco at some point this week for Ashlyn's birthday stuff, 
I want to grab like two big things of onions and can them again because oh my gosh those things were amazing to add on top of a steak or um, in a roast or just whatever they are so good to have on hand and also I was thinking I would love to can up like some French onion soup I've never done it before but it'd be so good and I'm loving having, I haven't even used them yet, but I'm loving having all of these soups because my kids love soup. We can do soup all winter long through homeschool and all that. I don't expect these jars to last very long at all. Even though I did like eight jars almost of each, not, I mean, maybe I did, I don't know. I didn't like have a plan in mind. I just filled up the jars as many as I could with whatever I had. I'll probably use two at a time. So it's really not all that much, but it's definitely gonna be wonderful to have through the winter and through just homeschool and whatever times that we just wanna dump soup and go and do all of that. So um, very, very excited to do all that. And I wanna do, actually, like I would love to do a lot more. I wanna do some taco soup. I wanna do, um, like I said, French onion and just any more of any other kinds of soup would be wonderful because I can just, like I said, dump heat while we're doing school and we can eat and it would just be magical. So his dad and aunt gave us a ton of cucumbers. She was like, can them, you know, make pickles, do whatever. So now I have, let me see. I haven't even like looked through this bag, but there's quite a bit I can do pickles with these. Let's see, some more. So maybe Monday I'll work on maybe making some pickles. And then these ones are just kind of too big for pickles, but, um, yeah, lots of cucumbers from them. All right, so I just put some butter in here. We're gonna make up some mashed potatoes. We're gonna put some the blend seasoning. And some milk. Simple, simple, simple. And I always just kind of crush up the potatoes because if not, I feel like they fly everywhere. So I just kind of crush them with my beaters mixers before blending it up. So that's done. Now I just gotta heat up some corn and dinner will be served. So let's open this together. I haven't looked yet. I'm kind of worried. Not too bad, not too bad. Normally I worry when I don't like rotate it or anything. Sometimes I'll come in and I'll rotate it so the, top, the top's not like super dry, but it doesn't look too bad. So for Layla, we had leftover rice, I gave her some turkey, and then applesauce and corn. Okay, so Ashlyn asked if I'd ever made this before. She loves it, tells me that I should make it all the time, and Everly said yes. So I haven't tasted it yet, but apparently the pork is really good. And then I also served just it with some um, applesauce. We always had applesauce growing up with pork, always. So I've always done it and my kids love it that way. Okay guys, you know what time it is. When I stand here, we've cleaned up, we've had dinner, it's time to go. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, I won't have a video tomorrow because we have a long day and good things happening tomorrow. So I will see you guys in two days. I will film again Monday. So thank you for watching and I'll see you then. Bye.